I'd say there were definitely, for me, two big things that stand out when I look back. It was a few years ago now. Uh, the first thing, and I think it's encouraging for everybody to hear this, the very first thing I learned was how much I really didn't know. So it's one thing to have learned all this wonderful technical skills, you know the theory, you know the principles, you know what you're supposed to do. Then you go into your first job post-graduation, you don't know the expectations, you don't know the real world implications, the software, the programs, it's a whole different ballgame. I learned quite quickly that the black and white approach you feel like you kind of have in school is kind of thrown out the window in the real world and it's very different. That being said, the learning curve is so fast and you learn so much and it's exciting. But I think understanding that, yeah, you really don't know that much just yet is important so that when you walk in, you're not kind of overwhelmed. So that for me was, was a bit of a shock. It doesn't take long to get through that stage, but it definitely was something I wasn't expecting. And the second piece of advice, or sorry, the second piece that surprised me was the importance of, let's call them soft skills. So emotional intelligence, critical thinking, ability to communicate verbally, written, on the phone, in person, presenting to coworkers, that sort of thing. So I underestimated how important those skills really would be. So I think you're lucky as um, graduates from STM and the areas that you've all studied in that those skills have really been honed through your education and it will set you up for definite success as you move into whatever the next phase of your life holds. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about surprise, but one of the real differences that I noticed is that in the student framework, your life is kind of uh, in an in a open and closed framework. So you begin in January, uh, you follow the syllabus along, uh, April comes along and then there's a curtain call and then you write your final exam and then hurrah it's over and all of this stuff that you've been doing can just get pushed off your desk and it's all sort of tightly packaged with a little bow on it and it's done and it's complete and you don't need to think about it for a long time and when you enter a work environment you never really get that sense of things being tidy and complete you never really get that sense of um, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm done and I don't need to think about this anymore. There's always something that's sort of coming at you. Uh, so um, maybe that's something to think about for the future is, is to recognize that sometimes you're just going to need to put things on the back burner and, and come to them at a later point. You're never really going to get that sense of, of freedom that you get when you're a student and April comes along. There's always going to be something to attend to in your work life. Well, I do uh, remember that after I was off campus, well, what I did actually was um, the job that I kind of worked in, my summer job, uh, through my arts degree, I worked there full time um, after I, I convocated from arts. And, um, and that was that kind of experience where it was like one of those jobs where it's like, I know what I don't want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> and then that led me back to campus and I got my education degree. And then after I was done my education degree, um, I, I just remember that um, uh, I did get a job and it was great. And, but I did have occasion to, to visit campus or, or to drop things off at campus. And I always missed the energy of, of the university. Like it's just, uh, it's, campus life is really electric and exciting. And, um, and so I did miss it when, um, when I was working, but then I was, uh, was just, uh, lucky enough, fortunate enough, blessed enough to be able to come back and work on campus where, where that great energy is. So all that uh, fantastic energy and no studying for finals. So it was, it's a good place to work. <laughs> I think the thing that surprised me the most leaving university as I was kind of becoming more of an adult and, and growing into the working world was, uh, I think I was kind of surprised by how similar things kind of felt like yeah the routine was quite different and i was in a different environment with different people but i i think i expected there would be like a fanfare or something and you know streamers would come down and a big sign that says congratulations you're now an adult and that never happened that's that's not a thing and so when you know since that hasn't happened i've really come to learn that 
being an adult and, and being in the working world is really about developing a set of skills. And those are the skills that help you navigate life. And so the more skills that you have, uh, the better off that you will be in the long run because you'll be able to uh, meet the challenges that you end up facing. And so I think if there's any advice I could give for those entering the adult world, it's just develop your skills, learn new skills, uh, you know, be brave in, in figuring out new things because that's what's going to really help you in the long run. Before and during my studies at university, I had no idea I'd end up working on campus. It wasn't something I even really considered. But it turns out something that my academic advisors had been telling me was true. Developing relationships and connections with people was incredibly important to finding meaningful work. It was never more important or surprising when in January 2006, out of the blue, I got a phone call from Richard Menernack, an advisor at St. Thomas More College at the time, with the question, would you be interested in working in student services as an, a recruitment officer? I think you should apply for the job. And surprise, surprise, 15 years later, I'm still here working. Happy, excited to be here. Yeah, I think that I was surprised a little bit by how quickly I missed being in school. Uh, you spend your whole time in university working towards graduation, completing the degree for a lot of people, then going out, starting your career, getting a job. And then when you get that job and start working, you'll start to think back to how much fun it was to be an undergrad student, how much flexibility you had in your life. Uh, so that's definitely something that I uh, remember and I still feel that now all these years later. Love my job, but there are times where I'm like, oh, I wish I could just be a student again. This isn't necessarily specifically about finishing university, but one of the things that didn't happen that surprised me is there was no point where I woke up and wanted to have a clean house. I kind of assumed, based on the adults that I knew, my mom in particular and her family, they're all neat freaks. I assumed there'd just come a point where I was an adult and I'd be done school and I would want to do my dishes. And that just doesn't happen. And I think one of the things I learned from that actually is that adulting is not actually that hard. And I say that because when we talk about adulting being difficult, we're really talking about a lot of expectations that we place on ourselves. That as an adult, we're supposed to have a clean house. As an adult, we're supposed to know what we're doing. As an adult, we're supposed to have our dream job and a mortgage and all of those things. And when it comes down to it, none of those things really matter as much as we think they do. A lot of them are pretty superficial. Obviously, we want to have a job that makes us happy, we want to have a life that's stable, we want to have good and healthy relationships. But that's not actually that different from how your life is when you're in school, right? Like those things are always important. And what you need to do is you need to go to work, you need to come home, you need to sleep regularly, you need to pay your taxes, you need to feed yourself. That's really not that different from when you're in school. It just looks different than how it might when you are in university. And so I think the thing to take away from that is that this is not necessarily as big a transition as you think it is. You're going to be doing a different thing in your life, but you're still the same person. And adulthood is whatever you decide adulthood is. 